My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, I welcome you in the name of God and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tonight's reflection will come from book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, from verse 5 to 17. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, from verse 5 to 17. And the theme of our contemplation is, you are fashioned to be great. Fashioned to be great. Let's go into prayer. Loving Father, I, your unworthy servant, stand before your presence to thank you for being our God. You are a great designer. You are the one that blesses every family with many talented children. Some families produced lawyers, doctors, scientists, pilots, teachers, nurses, engineers, clergymen, reverend sisters, reverend brothers, monks and nuns, lay people, cleaners, mechanics, carpenters, farmers, and so on. Father, you have given us men and women of timber and caliber. You fashioned everybody to be great. There is no labor, no work in this world that is smaller than it, than the other. Even the cleaners, if they do not clean, the environment will not be clean. You don't underestimate any job you are you, you have, child of God. See every job or whatever you are doing as planned by God and designed by God and handle it with care. Father, I thank you for the wonderful men and women you have blessed in this line. And for many people that will be listening to this anointing message for empowerment. Some people think that when they have not gone to school that they are doing job that is just a very, very low. No. Elevate their status. Empower everybody, Father. Wherever we are walking, Father, may they be able to cherish that walk in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you have given us the work. You say, out of our sweat we shall eat. Thank you, Father, that we are not begging. Thank you, Father, that you have blessed us with something we are doing. May you empower your children. May you motivate them every day. May they see wherever they are walking as destined by you, my Father. You fashion us to be great. Bless everybody to be convinced that he or she is great. No matter how small, how big you are. May we be seen and you yourself see yourself as someone that is great. In the eyes of the Lord and the eyes of men and women. Father, we thank you for giving us life. Without your life in us, we shall be lifeless. It is because of the life you have given us that made us to be alive. Because of the life you have given us, we can breed. Because of the life you have given us, we can go to work. Because of the life you have given us, we can shout and say, Hallelujah. Because of the life you have given us, we can even walk with other people. If we are sick, we cannot perform. Father, you have fashioned us to be great. Father, we thank you. Father, you never disappoint. Even when we disappoint, you don't disappoint us. Father, we are happy with you. Father, we glorify your name. Who can separate us from your love? Who can stop us from blessing us, from worshiping you, Father? You bless us every day with life and health. You bless us with peace. Look at how you were able to wash the apostles' feet. So humble our God we have. 
You think about us every day. You melt us and mold us and make us your divine instrument. By virtue of our baptism, you are, we are co heirs in the Lord's vineyard. There is never a dull moment in our relationship with you. You always make us to belong. When people disappoint us, you appoint us to greater heights. When people disgrace us, you bless us with your own grace. When crisis befell us, Christ, you are there for us. When people punish us, you bless us with prosperity. When people punish us, you bless us with posterity. Father, we thank you. When circumstances disgrace us, Father, your grace is sufficient for us. We thank you, Father, for fashioning us to be great, for allowing us to be identified as your children. You are a great designer, Father. You are the one that blesses every family with many talented children. You have, we have our children and our siblings. As we are growing up, nobody knows who, who everybody can be. Some ended up being lawyers, doctors, nurses. Today, they are great men and women. We are mystery to ourselves. Sometimes we don't even know what we say. But when we say something, you put your spirit in us to continue to pursue that cause. And our dreams come true. Father, I pray for many people that haven't actualized their dream. Let their dream turn to positivity and come true in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people wanted to be lawyers. Some people wanted to be doctors and so on. Something, one thing or the other is delaying them. Father, I pray for that accomplishment to materialize in the mighty name of Jesus. So many people are looking for the fruit of the womb. Some people have sacrificed a lot so as to be able to get fruit of the womb. Some delayed their education. Some delayed activities one way or the other for ends to meet. Father, you know their problem. You have fashioned them to be great. Nothing will stop the child of God. No circumstance will stop the child of God. Some people are still caged by their green card, by their status, by their change of status, by their citizenship. Father, I pray that you break that chain in their life. Open many doors and offices through the uh, uh, elected uh, politicians in our own time. Let them grant, grant amnesty to people in the mighty name of Jesus. May they grant amnesty to your people in the mighty name of Jesus. May they grant, grant amnesty to your people so that they will have green card. So many people have not touched their countries the one way or the other. So many families are scattered. So many families are separated because they are looking for change of status. Father, you fashioned everybody to be great. You fashioned them to be great families. Nothing will obstruct them. Nothing will thwart their marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the one that unites, not the one that divides. Let not the ephemerals of this world disrupt the, the, the blessing you have already made out for your people. Father, you are great. All these are to glorify the work of your hands. Father, we adore you. We crave your divine indulgence, Father, to bless your children tonight. Especially those that are still searching for, their, for the fulfillment of their destiny. Present them where they will be excelling higher and higher, Father. 
like a watered garden, Father, sustain their lives. Like watered garden that sustains the life of every plant around it. So may you shepherd your flock. Bless us tonight, O Lord, with your divine arrangement. Many are searching and, and yearning for, for divine blessing. Some people are still confused about what happened to their destiny. Many are worried about the setback in their siblings' business. How can you give a young man or woman money to start business? And the young man or woman will misuse the money? He or she does not know how it, how it got lost. It pays the givers to continue to give and nothing to show of it. Father, bless their destiny. When our children are challenged by the unknown destiny snatchers, Father, fire them back, fire their barrel in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver your children from unknown destinies matches in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver your children called by your name. Father, cover us by your grace. Extend your divine blessing to our in-laws and friends, our neighbors. Bless our youth that have been patient with themselves and the government of various countries. Father, bless our destiny. Father, bless the work of your children. Let their patience not be in vain. May the patience of your children never be in vain. As they breed, so would their destiny breed. Father, let tonight be a blessing for them one by one. Let our get together in your vineyard, Father, bring us abundant grace. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Child of God. Tonight is your night. Take him deep breath and breathe out, child of God. Raise your head high and raise your shoulder high, child of God. Do not be pessimistic, but be optimistic. Do not be pessimistic, child of God. I enjoy you to be optimistic. Sometimes the devil will like you to be moving as if to say you don't have heavenly father. No, 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 child of God. Jesus said, I no longer call you slaves but friends. Walk with majesty. Walk with dignity, child of God. Walk with dignity, child of God. You are daughter of Zion. You are prince and princess, a child of God. No circumstance will bring you down, child of God. Because God has fortified your banner. And tonight, God is blessing you all the more. Tonight, God is reminding you that you are fashioned by himself. God has fashioned each and every one of us to be great. Circumstances may delay your, your destiny, but you are destined to reach your destination in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people may run faster than you, and you may be walking slowly, but we are reaching the same destination. Depending on the time. But the essential thing is that everybody will reach the same destination. One day. Remember. 
that a thousand years is like a sigh before the Lord. And one thousand miles starts with a mile. Be patient with yourself, child of God. Be patient with God. Be patient with yourself, child of God. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with God. Sometimes we want to run faster than our shadow. It's good to be ambitious, but not over-ambitious. There was a young man that called me on the phone. He was lamenting that business was not flourishing the way it used to. I asked the young man which country he came from, and he told me. I said to the young man, you are not alone. You are not the problem, but the system. Some countries, their politicians create unnecessary business lacuna unto hardship on the people. When people are facing hard time, they use money self-fraudulently to buy their consciences during election. People will be starving. And some countries and governors and governments will not pay attention to the starvation people are going through. Especially during the COVID-19 lockdown. Many people suffered in many countries. Some countries are making money out of this COVID-19. They're supposed to be free. And people are suffering. I told the young man not to lose hope. When people are facing hard times, sometimes they think that they they are alone. I told the young man, save the money you wanted to use to go for the local deity for sacrifice. Not to waste that money. Save it. I told him about the worldly stagnation. And the politics of our time, he was able to calm down. Sometimes you think you're alone. Child of God, you're not alone. When you are in your own store, you don't even know what other people are suffering in their own store. This young man was worried. He was thinking that he did not make enough sacrifice to the deity. And he wanted to spend money with any of the deity, unknown to him too. How you are looking for money from God. God is wealth. And you are looking for money. And you take the one, the little one remaining in your hand, and you sow the seed to the devil. How does it make you feel and look, child of God? Beware of the satanic agents. Beware of the satanic agents, child of God. Beware of them. You may be looking for money and you commit your destiny without knowing that you have committed your destiny to one deity or the other. And you'll be blaming God, the living God. God did not send you to those deities. Maybe somebody suggested something for you. You have to discern every advice in prayer. Discern every advice you receive in prayer. Remember that the three wise men from the East, they were looking for where Jesus was. And they came to Herod's house 
to ascertain where the, the newborn baby was born because he was the king of the time. Why they approached the house of Herod? The star stopped giving light. And prior to their leaving the house, message was given to them not to follow the same road when they were going home. They did not come back to the king anymore. When you are a prayerful child of God, you'll be receiving divine message. Either through the dream or when you are praying. God speaks to us in many ways. You have to discover how God speaks to you. Someone texted me that uh, she did not even understand the dream she had. And she wanted me to uh, interpret it. I said, God did not even reveal to me your dream. Bring your dream to this prayer. And God may reveal your answer. Reveal answers to you. Sometimes I don't even have the answer. Don't claim what you don't have. You don't know, child of God. When you don't have answer, you must not supply answer, child of God. You can tell someone that you are praying over it. If God does not reveal anything, why do you make up something to reveal to someone so that you, there will be something you will give to someone? Don't do that. Humble yourself before the Lord. And allow God to be God. So that when God reveals something to you, your God will be happy that you are his instrument. You are her instrument. And you are able to discharge the work. God can use anybody to work. Remember, you are fashioned to be great. But no one takes this honor upon himself or herself. You are fashioned to be great. But no one takes this honor upon himself or herself. Be careful. And don't spoil your gift by attaching your testimony and your gift with money. If someone wants to thank God, let the person thank God from his or her own heart. Don't impose fees on people. That's how you lose your gift. You are fashioned to be great. Don't lose your greatness. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. But when salt is no longer testing salt, it becomes insipid and testless. It's no longer salt. You are fashioned to be great in many ways. God is blessing you tonight. And God is re re refreshing your anointing tonight. God is increasing our anointing tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. God is melting and molding each and every one of us tonight. We are His own people, the eclair toy. We are the enclaimed toy, the segregators are popular, people set apart for the Lord. You are the daughter of Zion, child of God. You are the daughter of Zion. I wrote you diadem for the Lord. You are prince and princesses of the Lord. You are created in image and likeness of the Lord. 
And God is using you, child of God. Do not be afraid. Continue with your good works. In all honesty and dignity. I told this young man that was confused about the business he was having in that country. I said, you are not the problem, but the system. Save your money that you wanted to use and go to one day with your nan. Save it. Save it. Don't commit your, your money to the devil. Go to your church. Meet your pastor. Let your pastor pray for you. Go to the prayer warriors. Go to the intercessors. Go to the charismatics. Go to the Legion of Mary. Go to St. Anthony group. Go to Divine Mercy. Go to Precious Blood group. Tell them that you have problem. Remember, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. Ask whatever you want, and I will give it to you. When God delays answering you, be patient with yourself. Be patient with God. Be patient with God. Be patient with God. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with God. Be patient with yourself, child of God. Matthew 18 from verse 19 to 20 says, Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. We are two or three are gathered in my name. I am there. If two of you You know, during the time of Jesus, they believe in the witness of two. That's why Jesus always sent his apostles two by two. They believe in the witness of two. But now we are many in this line. So, child of God, instead of going to the deity that you don't know, Go to the intercessors. We have many gifted ladies and gentlemen. Go to your own church. Meet your pastor. Meet your priest. Discuss your problem in prayer. Don't go to unknown destiny. There are destiny snatchers which you may not know. And that will bring us to the reflection we have tonight. Jeremiah chapter 1, from verse 1 following, precisely from verse 5 to 17. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Verse 6. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am too young. 
You must go to everyone I send you and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declared the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see the branch of an almond tree, I replied. The Lord said to me, You have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. The word of the Lord came to me again. What do you see? I see a pot that is boiling. I answered, It is tilting towards us from the north. The Lord said to me, From the north, disaster will be poured out on all who live in the land. Verse 15, I'm about to summon all the peoples of the north, declare the Lord. Their kings will come and set up their thrones in inheritance of the gate of Jerusalem. They will come against all her surroundings world and against all the towns of Judea. I will pronounce my judgment on my people because of their wickedness in forsaking me. In burning incense to other gods. Are you hearing me? In burning incense to other gods. And in worshiping what their hands have made. Get yourself ready. Stand up. And say to them. Whatever I command you. Do not be terrified by them. Or I will terrify you before them. Today I have made you a fortified city. An iron pillar. And a bronze wall to stand against the whole land, against the kings of Judea, its officials, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you, and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Look at that. The bottom line is that God knows us one by one. Before you were born, I knew you. I, ego soon, first person singular. It's the Lord, the Lord that is telling you this child of God. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Nobody is telling the Lord about you, but He knows us. He was talking to Jeremiah. The way he knew Jeremiah, that's the way he knows us, one by one. He called Jeremiah by his name. When God sent Archangel Gabriel to Mary, that was the name given to, to, to Mary by Joachim and Anne, and recognized by heaven. Every name our parents have given us, Heaven knows our names. Chuku kikia bea malafani. Our Heavenly Father knows our names. One by one. Every name given to you by your parents. God knows each of them. God even understands. The name, the nickname given to us by our peers. For instance, Elizabeth was called barren. And heaven knew that people were calling Elizabeth barren. 
that was a quite that that was a challenge to God. That was a challenge to God. That the woman he created to bear fruit was being condemned by the world and called barren. And God was able to clean up that barrenness from Elizabeth and give her John. Whether you have an adopted child, whether you have given birth to your own, God has wiped away your barrenness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, say, Amen. Cry no more. Stop being depressed. Whether you adopted a child or children, whether you born them by yourself, they are your children. And God has wiped away your own barrenness. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's just a mindset. After all, my dad is no longer alive. And we are still on earth. I don't have my own wife and children. You may say I'm a priest, okay. But don't kill yourself. You have many options out there. Make yourself comfortable with one. And you don't even know what, what God will, will bless you with. And you have rest of mind. One tom tom guy, I don't know why. Marriage and ma- marriage or no marriage. Children or no children. Everything ends in this world. But may God bless you with children in the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless you with twins, boys, boys, girls, girls, in the mighty name of Jesus. May God bless your fertility. May God bless the ones he has given you. But don't kill yourself. That's what I'm telling you. The God that created you is the one that will be worried. God's supposed to be worried more than you. He understands your predicament. He is the great designer. He is the one that fashions. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That's enough to comfort you tonight, child of God. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. That was God talking to Jeremiah. And Jeremiah was saying to God, I don't even know how to speak. I am too young. He said, hey, 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 Jeremiah. Stop it. Do not say that. Don't say I'm too young. And he said, he commanded him, you must go. Verse 7, you must go to everyone. I send you to. Look at that. Sometimes you may think like Jeremiah. I'm a shy person. I don't even know what to say. But even you yourself say you don't know what to say. Makes you humble, but you are afraid. I'm empowering you tonight. Even if you're a starter, you don't even know that I was a starter before. I was a big stammer. <laughs> but God helped me to conquer my own. Sometimes you, you, you may hear me uh, drag, drag words. I'm struggling with my starter. I was singing and singing and singing. I, when I was at the seminary, people were, were even uh, uh, pitying me. How will I talk? How will I preach? They look at me today saying I'm praising, I'm preaching. And even talking more than many people. I'm revealing it to you today. Not everybody knows this. Not everybody knows this, but I'm revealing it to, you, to my brothers and sisters to empower you. I was a star when I, 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 was, I was small. I, I, I didn't talk much. It was my beloved mom. She's in this life. She helped me. When I start, I start stammering, she will look at me very well. I say, stop. Calculate what you want to say and make a sentence with it. Or sing, sing with it. I will not talk. I will be calculative. 
There are many ways. There are good mothers. If you have one, thank you, God. There are good fathers. You have good siblings. Why am I saying this? God can use you to reach out to the people of God. I will fashion you to be a great man or woman. You are not the owner of yourself. Why I made this self-disclosure is for you to have hope. Most of you didn't even know that I was a starter. I stammered. I was a stammer. The one that will be speaking and then you'll be, you'll be tapping your leg on the ground before you talk another one. But today everything evaporated to the greater glory of God. If I was able to overcome my own stutter, if I was able to overcome my own stammering, child of God, there's nothing that you cannot overcome. Say amen, somebody. You are fashioned to be great, child of God. You are fashioned to be great. You are fashioned to be great, child of God. When you are struggling with something, know that God is with you in your struggle. When you are in crisis, you are not alone. Because Christ is with you in your crisis. God is with you. But will you be able to see God in your life? Book of Psalm 139 verse 12 says, Even the darkness is not dark to you, my God. But the night shines like the day. For darkness is as light to you, my God. Verse 13 for you formed my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being. I thank you, Lord, for the wonder of my being. Oh, Lord, you fashion me and knit me in my mother's womb. You created me to be your son. You knit me in my mother's womb. All my days lies open to you. Your days, child of God, lies open in the eyes of the Lord. When you were fashioned in your mother's womb, respectively, God saw how you were. God saw how I was in my own mother's womb. And when you were coming out, God knows that you come out in that family. So, child of God, when the devil is threatening you or your life, and you are panicking, God is telling you, be still. That you are alive till today is not by your own making. That you are alive today is not by your own making, child of God. Even Job, in book of Job, chapter 10, verse 11, when his bones were dry and all those things, God said, you clothed, Job said, you clothed me with skin and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinews. Look at that. And in Psalm 119, verse 73, he said, Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding to learn your commandments. Look at that. And Ecclesiastes, book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 5, says, As you do not know the path of the wind or how the bones are formed in a mother's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. Look at that. You can't fathom the unfathomable. The book of Ecclesiastes said it all. Ecclesiastes 30, 11, verse 5. As you do not know the path of the wind, or how the bones are formed 
in a mother's womb. So you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. And in Isaiah 44, verse 24, it says, For says the Lord, you are a redeemer who formed you from the womb. I am the Lord who has made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who by myself spread out the earth. Look at that. Only him alone did all this without any help. And we are still afraid. He's asking you today, child of God, why are you afraid? Look at what God told Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19 precisely. Listen to this. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you. I will rescue you, declare the Lord. And I'm blessing each and every one of us tonight. When the enemies are fighting against you, I am telling you in the mighty name of Jesus, they will not overcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Make this verse your own prayer point. Even though they fight against you and your family, they will not overcome you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because the Lord says, I am with you. I will rescue you, declared the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm blessing you with Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. They may fight against you and your family or you alone, but they will not overcome you or your family members in the mighty name of Jesus. For I am with you, says the Lord, and I will rescue you. God will rescue you and your family. God will rescue you in your job. God will rescue you in your business. God will rescue you in your kingdom and kindred. Wherever they are attacking and pursuing you and your family, they will never overcome you. You will be overcome and overtake. You will be victorious. You will never be a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, am I talking to someone tonight? Say amen tonight. Tonight is your night, child of God. Always remind yourself that tonight you are fashioned to be great. No matter what people do to pull you down, they are also afraid of you. But you don't even know that they are afraid of you. You think that uh, you are the one uh, forgetting. But they are afraid of you, child of God. They are afraid of the stuff you are made of. They are afraid of you and your children. When they look at the achievement of your children, they marvel at God. When your, your, your enemies remember your children, they marvel. You think that you alone, child of God. God has already blessed you. God has already blessed you, child of God. But you, you don't even understand. You don't even know the plan God had for you. And you are fidgeting. You are afraid. Tonight is your night, child of God. I want you to take time and pause for a while and present before the Lord your petition. We are going into prayer tonight now. Pause for a while and take a deep breath and breathe out and tell God your, your problem. Because of the greatness of your children, people are attacking your children, people are attacking you, present it before the Lord. Only come out of the He that is in you is greater than any type of occultic powers around you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, fire them. Call the names of those people attacking you and your family seven times, child of God. Yes, Lord. We are presenting before you those enemies of progress. Those enemies that are, that are torturing and tormenting your children. They are presenting them before you, Father. You told us that whenever we agree in prayer, that you are there for us. Matthew 18, 19. 
Yes, we are agreeing in prayer that you oppose those who oppose us. You bless us in Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 12. You bless those who bless us and you curse those who curse us. Yes, Lord, your children are presenting before you the enemies of progress. The enemies of progress. Your children are presenting them before you. Father Lord, we thank you. Father Lord, we glorify you. Father Lord, we praise you. Father Lord, we thank you for all you have been doing in our life. Your children are blessing, are blessed tonight because of your name. Your children are blessed because of you. Your children are blessed because of you today. Father, never allow evil forces to attack your, your children. We are destined to succeed. We are destined to succeed, child of God. Child of God, you are not alone. You are fashioned to be great, child of God. You may be sick, but in your sickness, you are seeking the kingdom of God. You are seeking the blessing of God. You are seeking the healing of God, the healing power of God. And it's coming down upon you now, child of God. Your sickness cannot stop your greatness. Your sickness cannot stop your greatness, child of God. Your situation is in God's hands. And the enemy is afraid of you. The enemy is afraid of you. The enemy is doing his or her own calculation. But God is calculating for you. The enemy may be restless and sleepless. And you think the enemy is succeeding. You are the one sleeping very, very well. The enemy is just up there, restless. And he or she comes around and see you bubbling. The enemy does not know why you are still bubbling. But your God knows why. Because you have a clean heart and pure heart. Do not be afraid, child of God. No matter the situation you find yourself presented before the Lord. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Yes, Lord, we praise you and glorify you. We thank you for your children tonight. We present before you the sickness, the sick ones. Some of them are diabetic. Some have complications. Some are having the side effect of diabetes. Father, take control, take care of them, Father. Some of them are suffering from high blood pressure. Father, arrest the situation in their life. Some are gasping for air. They're having breathing problems. Kidney liver function. Slowing down. Father, I pray that you rejuvenate it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, grant your children favor, divine favor. Let your favor favor your children, Father. Deliver your children from bondage. No matter the circumstances controlling their life, Father, may your children excel higher and higher. I bless you tonight with, with the book of Psalm 7 from verse 1 to 17. If you open your Bible, you say with me, O oh Lord my God, in you do I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and deliver me. Lest like a lion, they tear my soul apart, rending it in pieces with none to deliver me. O oh Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wrong in my hands, if I have repaired my friends with evil or plundered my, my enemies without season, let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it. And let him trample my, my life to the ground and lay my glory to the dust. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Fight the enemies of your children, Father. 
I work for me. You have appointed a judgment. Fight the enemies of your children, Father. Let the assembly of the peoples be gathered to fight the evil forces against you. Father, you are the just judge of your people. Deliver your people for order. Let the evil and wicked people run away from your children, oh Father. You are, you, are, you are the shield of your children. Save your children, Father. You are the God of righteousness. Deliver your children, Lord. Deliver them, Father. Deliver them, Father. Because behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and gives birth to lies. He makes a pit, digging it out and falls into the hole that he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head and on his own skull, his violence descends. Yes, Lord, they will fall into the pit that they have dug for the children of the light in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver your people that call upon your name. We shall give you glory, O oh Father. We shall give you thanks because of your, your, your protection, O oh Father. We shall give you all honor and adoration. We shall continue to praise you and adore you. Your children are standing before your presence to thank you for tonight. We pray for tomorrow. We glorify you, Father. We adore you, O oh Father. We know that you, my God, you are an awesome God. You are God that always bless your children. I pray for divine blessing upon you, Father. I'm praying for each and every one of you for divine blessing and divine protection. God is at work in your life. God is at peace with you, child of God. You will never lack because God is in your life. God is blessing you tonight, child of God. God is blessing your children. God is blessing your siblings. You are fashioned to be great. Remember that, child of God. And nobody can take away your destiny. Oh, God of love, bless my destiny. Oh, God of love, bless my destiny. Oh, God of love, bless my destiny. Oh, God of love, bless your destiny. We are knocking at your door. We are knocking, we pray. Oh, oh God of love, bless your destiny. Yes, Lord. You have fashioned us and knitted us in our mother's womb. And you were able to allow us to come into our various families. Let every family that your children have found themselves respectively be a blessed family respectively. Let the daughter of Zion be respected where she is married. Let the son and prince of the house be respected where he is marrying, Father. Let the in-laws be able to welcome him. Let the in-laws be able to welcome her. Father, I thank you for tonight, for you have blessed us as you have blessed your children. I'm blessing each and every one of them with Psalm 128 because this is your family prayer for them. Your family prayer for your children is that their children will be blessed. Yes, Lord, you are blessing our children tonight. I bless them with Psalm 128 because you, my God, will always bless every family. You love our families. You love our children. You never allow them to suffer want and go hungry. Yes, Lord, I thank you and I glorify you tonight. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in obedience with the Lord. May the grace of the Almighty Father bless each and every one of you tonight. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.